Gautam Buddha says that the human body is the secret to good health. Therefore, do not mourn the past. Do not worry about the future. Wisdom is to live honestly in the present. But most of us do not know how to live in the present because we do not want to live. We are concerned about our past and worry about the future. You should worry about the future that is to come, and if you can live in the present, try and see. Your mind and your body will become completely healthy. Once you start living in the present, you will not feel any pain from the past, nor will you have any worries about the future. Instead, the breaths you take in the present will also give you joy and happiness that you have never felt before. If you believe in Gautam Buddha, then listen carefully to this story which will give you knowledge on how to live in the present, leaving your past and future behind. So the story begins with a person named Rohan who is very sad and troubled. He was sitting on a rock on a mountain and crying. While he was crying, a Buddhist monk happened to pass by. Seeing him cry, the Buddhist monk went to Rohan and started talking to him. Rohan asked, If you think I am planning to jump from here and end my life, then you are right. But what difference does it make to you? It's my life, and I can do whatever I want with it. The Buddhist monk said to Rohan, If you are still hesitating to take action, then what good does it do to cry here? Hearing this, Rohan became furious and said to the Buddhist monk, Look, respected monk, Whatever I came here to do, I will do it. But there is no need for your interference. Saying this, Rohan started crying uncontrollably. Then the Buddhist monk asked Rohan, All right, tell me, have you left everything behind? Have you brought anything with you? In response to the Buddhist monk's question, Rohan said, I have left everything behind. I have nothing, and what will I do by living if I have anything? To lose? Hearing this, the Buddhist monk said to Rohan, If that's the case, why are you carrying this burden on your head? Surprised by the Buddhist monk's words, Rohan asked, What burden am I carrying? My hands are empty, and I don't have anything. That's when the Buddhist monk said, Even your breath is not flowing properly. You have come here to leave this world and cry your heart out. A person with nothing to lose never does such things. Why would he cry? Upon hearing this, Rohan became even more enraged and demanded an explanation from the Buddhist monk. What do you mean by that? The monk replied, Have you ever attempted to look within yourself? How much burden have you been carrying? How heavy is the weight on your shoulders? How long do you plan on carrying these burdens? Unload them here and lighten your load. How long will you allow yourself to be trapped under these burdens? As soon as Rohan heard all these words from the Buddhist monk, he immediately fell at his feet and joined his hands, saying, Buddhist monk, nobody has ever understood me until now. Many people have come and gone from here, but no one has ever said these things to me. You have read my mind to the extent that even my family couldn't understand me. But you understood me completely in one go. Rohan proceeds to ask the Buddhist monk for help, saying, Can you solve my problem? The monk responded, Where is the problem? The person insists, it's at my home. The monk, however, clarifies, the problem is not at your home. Rohan persists, no no Buddhist monk, the problem is at my home. Come with me once and see. While explaining to Rohan, the Buddhist monk said, the problem is not at your home but within you. Have you ever looked within yourself? All the problems are within you. Until you solve them you will only see problems everywhere all the time. And if the problem is at home, what are you doing on top of this mountain? You were saying that you have left everything behind. Your own home, your family, your close relatives. And if you have left all these things behind, your problem has also disappeared there. So why are you so troubled? Hearing all these things from the Buddhist monk, Rohan said, Monk, you are right. I understand your words. The flower is within me. I am not capable of any work. Whenever I try to do something, I mess it up. Everything I touch turns into a mess. I have never done any work properly. My luck is just bad. Upon hearing these words, the monk started smiling and said to Rohan, Well, it seems that you have bad luck. Tell me, what is wrong with your luck? Rohan replied to the Buddhist monk, I wanted to do business. For business, I needed money. So I took some money from my family and started a business with that money. My business was growing well, but it didn't last long. 
In the beginning, my family supported me, and everything was going well. But gradually, I started experiencing losses in my business, and seeing all this. My family became angry with me and distanced themselves from me. I wanted to do business and earn a good amount of money to take care of my family and provide them with all the comforts and conveniences they desired. I did everything for them, but those people couldn't understand me and blamed me for everything. I also feel like I made a mistake by starting the business with a friend. However, his business is doing very well. Whenever he comes to my house, he talks about how successful his business is and how he established and managed it on his own, taking it to great heights through hard work. Upon hearing all of this, my family started to tell me, look, son, he is a true friend. He has taken his business from one level to another, and you have caused us a loss of our invested capital. My family always tells me that I am incapable, and listening to these taunts causes me great distress. So I took loans and started a new business. However, even there, I faced setbacks. And my business ultimately failed. Now my situation has come to the point where my house is even mortgaged. What should I do next? The Buddhist monk asked Rohan, Do you know why your friend used to come to you? Rohan responded, Yes, I know very well. He used to come to belittle me in front of my family, criticize me, and show that he was much better than me in business. He wanted to make me feel inferior and sad by demonstrating his success. I felt tormented and troubled. The Buddhist monk then asked, Did you truly feel sad when your friend succeeded in his business? Rohan responded, Yes, I felt sad when he succeeded in his business and mine failed. It hurt me, and I felt jealous. I regretted and suffered. The Buddhist monk said to Rohan, That means you would be happy if your friend also failed. If his business collapses, you would be pleased. The Buddhist monk smiled again and said to Rohan, This means your happiness depends on your friend. If he wants, he can make you happy. And if he wants, he can make you sad. Because you cannot be happy or sad on your own, you have already become a slave to your friend. And if that's the case, there is no solution to your problem because your happiness and the pain of your suffering depend on the behavior of others. Your actions have not changed anything for you. Neither can you be happy nor sad through your actions. I cannot provide a solution to your problem. Rohan said to the monk, Please don't say that, monk. I have a lot of hope for you because you are the one who understands and knows the pain inside me. You know it and understand it. Please consider my request, and you give me a solution to this problem. The Buddhist monk replied, When we become dependent on others by attaching expectations to them, we completely rely on others. If I don't show you any path, then you will continue to be unhappy. You will keep crying like a sick person. But if I tell you a way, it may help you to find a solution to your problem. However, remember one thing. The friend who came to your house and told you about how he has achieved growth in his business and how he has worked hard may make you feel sad. But he is telling the truth about how he struggled in his life to reach that position. He is sharing his experiences with you. Now, you can either use that experience or let it go in vain and generate feelings of envy in your mind. Wisdom lies in utilizing experience by using your intelligence and the knowledge gained from experience. You should be grateful for receiving the experience you need without even asking for it. Express gratitude to your friend for providing experiences and knowledge that you couldn't acquire from your own life. Move forward, face the struggles, use that experience, and don't give up. One good thing about time is that it always changes, no matter how it is. Therefore, whether the time is good or bad, it is certain to pass. But the most important thing to understand here is, that you need to stay alive to witness these two times. Once you experience success, you will grow your business through the challenges and reach greater heights. Then, your acquaintances will not share stories of their accomplishments but instead recount their failures. To avoid making incorrect choices and prevent yourself from suffering the same fate, utilize your intelligence rather than relying on their words, as they will not be seeking to make you happy but rather to see you suffer. Hearing this, Rohan said to the Buddhist monks, O oh, Venerable, you are right. I am not running my own life, but my relatives and friends are running it. They are filling my life with happiness and sorrow. 
But I have one question here. When I started my business, I intended to keep my family happy. I wanted to give them those comforts and joys. Is it wrong to think about my family? I was doing everything for my family, but after incurring losses in business, even my family left me. Upon hearing this, the Buddhist monk started smiling, and Rohan said, What's there to smile about? Did I ask any wrong question? The Buddhist monk responded, Every person expects consolation when they make a mistake, and you desire the same as well. Everyone wants to be praised when they do something, and not receiving that praise hurts us deeply. It wounds our hearts. This is when we start to think that everyone in this world is selfish. Everyone works for their gains and interests, and everyone stays with us for their purposes. But if you consider someone as your family and want to do something for them, then why do you feel like you're doing it for others? You are doing it for yourself. If you think you're doing it for others, you will remain unhappy throughout your life. When you realize that you're doing it for yourself, you will experience a strange happiness, and you will always be content. And as long as you keep working on your tasks to make them better and excellent, you won't need anyone's consolation. Upon hearing this, Rohan told the monk, Oh monk, I understand your words now. Until now, my fate was in the hands of others. They used to paint it with colors of happiness or sorrow as they wished. But since I will hold my destiny in my own hands, whether it's good or bad, I won't accept defeat. Finally, Rohan said to the Buddhist monks, I understood all your words. But can you give me something that can support me during the worst times of my life, that can accompany me? Hearing this, the Buddhist monks presented a small box to Rohan, telling him that it is very important to him and should be kept close. The box contains a secret that can alleviate the greatest sorrows and rescue him from the most severe calamities. Rohan is instructed to only open it in situations where they feel there is no way out and everything appears meaningless. The Buddhist monks then depart, leaving Rohan with the box and renewed determination. Rohan started a new business and persevered through every challenge. This time around, he achieved great success, and as a result, his family came back to him. He now enjoys all the comforts and pleasures of life, and he no longer dwells on past regrets or fears the future. His focus is solely on making the present even better. Ever time always keeps changing. Just as bad times don't last forever, good times don't either. Once again, a good phase had come to an end in his life. The neighboring state had attacked the state he lived in and destroyed it completely. His business had also been completely ruined. He started facing hardships with his family. They had to flee from one place to another to the point where he didn't even have money for food and drink. Due to hunger, his parents lost their lives. Despite his wife and two young brothers being sick, the man continued to wander, unable to afford their treatment. Over time, he began to question the purpose of life itself. He concluded that the world was meaningless, rendering the advice of the Buddhist monk he encountered equally worthless. Now penniless and without direction, he felt that his life was pointless and void of meaning. The idea of striving for success seemed empty and futile. Even his very existence felt pointless. It seemed to him that life was inevitably destined to end, and he could see no reason to continue living. He regretted not having the bravery to make something of his life and his body. He felt disappointed with everything he was experiencing. While he was lost in thought, he noticed the box given to him by the Buddhist monk. Inside the box, there was a note that read, Your life can change for the better at any moment. You may be rich or poor, but with courage, you can accomplish anything. The note filled him with a renewed sense of hope and courage to pursue his dreams. Rohan began a new journey by continuing his life. Once again, as we come to the end of this Zen journey, we thank you for your support keep supporting us in path of enlightenment and wisdom. If you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel, and also comment below which type of video you want to see next.